Thank you for choosing Outfitter Satellite for your satellite communication needs. This video will outline how to set up your Cobham Explorer 510 and optimize our rental kit, Xgate software, and other basic rental information. Inside the rental kit, you will see several things. A rental checklist with help sheet, the Explorer 510 terminal, optimizer hotspot, V72 battery, iSet phone 2, AC charger, international plug adapter, DC charger, iSet phone 2 charging cable, DC to DC cable, Ethernet cable, USB to Ethernet adapter, and soft case. Some of the steps in the setup process must be completed before leaving for a remote location. It is highly recommended by Outfitter Satellite to set up and test your connection before leaving for a remote location to familiarize yourself with the 510, the optimizer, and your equipment. At minimum, the apps required to use the optimizer and 510 must be downloaded before departure. As stated in the rental agreement, no refunds will be provided for failure to set up and use the equipment as advised. Before leaving for a remote location, you must download the apps for the device you intend to use with the 510. For Windows or Mac, see the links in the description of this video or on your enclosed help sheet. For Android or Apple devices, go to the Google Play Store for Android or the App Store for Apple and search for Xgate by Global Marine Networks. Download and install the app to your device. For Android devices, you must also download the Xweb app. Find a suitable, stable location outside to set up the equipment. A clear, unobstructed view of the satellite is necessary, generally towards the equator. On the V72 battery, select 12 volt on the slider switch on the battery pack, then connect the DC to DC barrel plug output cable to the optimizer's power port. Connect the optimizer using the Explorer 510's USB port, USB to Ethernet adapter, Ethernet cable, then optimizer hotspots SAT port. Press the power button for two seconds until the status LED is green and flashes rapidly. The terminal will begin emitting an audible pointing tone. Point the antenna towards the satellite by rotating and tilting it until the signal strength tone becomes steady and higher in pitch. When you've optimized the signal, accept the signal by tapping the terminal's on-off power button. The BGAN will now register on the Inmarsat network. Be careful not to bump the antenna or the pointing process will need to be repeated by switching the unit off then back on again. Connect to the optimizer's Wi-Fi network through settings on your device. The SSID or network name of the optimizer's network will begin with WXA. You must be connected to the optimizer via Wi-Fi for standard data connections. To begin setup, download the Speedmail software for your operating system. The links are located in the description of this video or on your enclosed help sheet. Once downloaded, run the installer. When complete, run the program. The first time you run the software, a registration wizard will appear. Select Enter User ID and Password, then click Next. Select Method to be configured later, then click Next. Enter the real full name assigned username and password provided by Outfitter Satellite. These credentials are located at the top of your rental checklist as well as on your help sheet, both enclosed in a Ziploc bag inside your rental kit. In the left-hand column, click Connection and set Default Connection to Network. Set Type to Network. Press OK and then Finish. Open the Speedmail program. Click the email icon. Click on the new email icon. Enter the recipient's email address, subject, and body text. Click on send. When you have created all the emails you wish to send, go to Speedmail and press the start button. This will log into your account and send all emails you have created, then download any incoming emails. Click the email icon to check for any new emails in the inbox. Remember, despite Xgate's heavy compression settings, browsing the web can consume high amounts of data. 
To avoid high data usage, limit browsing to mobile sites as much as possible. Sites with heavy amounts of graphics or images will consume more data. Open the Speedmail XGate software. Click the XWeb icon. A Confirm Browse Online pop-up box will appear. A pop-up will appear requesting your Speedmail credentials. Enter your username and password from the box at the top of your rental checklist or the top of the help sheet. A version of Mozilla Firefox will appear from within Speedmail which will allow compressed viewing of websites. Enter the URL in the box to view a compressed view of a website you would like to view or scroll down for mobile links to popular websites. Open the Xgate app. The registration screen will ask for the Speedmail Xgate account details. Enter the real full name, assigned username, and password provided by Outfitter Satellite. These credentials are located at the top of your rental checklist, as well as on your help sheet, both enclosed in a Ziploc bag inside your rental kit. Once entered, press Save. A pop-up will come up asking for additional configuration information. For connection, select Network. Tap the blue Xgate link to return to the Xgate home screen. Open the Xgate app and tap Mail. For each email you wish to send, do the following. In the bottom right, tap the icon of a box with a pen in it. Giving Xgate access to your contact list is not necessary, but may make address entry easier. Enter the destination in the To field, then enter the subject and body text. To send an optional photo attachment, tap the camera icon on the subject line. Select a photo from your camera roll. The high quality images in your camera roll will be automatically compressed by Xgate to reduce transmission time. To send higher quality images, go to the Xgate home screen and click Settings Images. In the upper right hand corner, click Send to Outbox. Tap the blue Xgate link in the upper left corner to return to the Xgate home screen, then tap on Mail again when you are ready to send and receive mail. In the bottom left corner of the mail screen, tap the icon of a box with an up arrow, then tap Send Receive Mail. Click Get Mail. When the mail transfer is finished, tap the blue Done link at the bottom of the screen. Open the Xgate app and then tap the Web selection. An instructional page will appear on how to set up compression for web surfing. Press the Home button to exit Xgate. Enter the Settings app and then tap Wi-Fi. On the network ID for the optimizer, click the blue info circle to the right. Scroll down to HTTP proxy and tap Manual. Under Server, enter 199.48. Dot one three zero dot one seven eight. Under port, enter three one one nine for maximum compression. Press the authentication switch to green, then enter your Speedmail credentials here. Tap the back arrow, then tap the home button. Open the Xgate app and then tap the web selection. Tap connect. If a pop-up appears asking for proxy authentication, enter your Speedmail credentials again. Tap the back arrow, then tap the home button and launch the Xgate app again. Tap the web menu selection, then tap connect in the upper right hand corner. A pop-up will appear saying switching to Safari. Click OK. You can now browse the web and access apps with compression. Once finished with your data web session, go back to settings, then Wi-Fi. Scroll down to HTTP proxy and choose off to ensure against unwanted data use. Remember, until you turn the proxy off, your unit will continue to use data, though compressed. Open the Xgate app on your Android device. Enter your Speedmail Xgate account real full name, usually Outfitter Satellite, username and password where indicated. A pop-up will say, Router not configured. Press OK. In the Select Router drop-down menu, select Network and tap Save. Tap on Mail, then for each email you wish to compose, do the following. On some Androids, you will see additional options at the top of the screen, including Compose, Folder List, etc. If the option list does not display automatically, 
Press and hold the menu button for a few seconds. Tap the Compose button. Enter the recipient's email address, a subject, and message text. A list of options should display at the bottom of the page, including the following, Send, Add Carbon Copy or Blind Carbon Copy, and Add Attachment. If not, press and hold the menu button for a few seconds. If you want to send a photo, tap Add Attachment. Note, Speedmail and Xgate will aggressively compress images by default. If you want to send higher resolution images, go to Settings, Images. Tap Send. When finished composing emails, press the back button twice to return to the Xgate home screen. When you are ready to send receive email, tap on Mail. Tap Send Receive Mail to get to the Mail Server Connection screen. Tap the Send Receive Email button. When the email transfer is finished, the last line on the Mail Server Connection screen will be Connection Closed. Tap the Back button twice to get back to the Xgate home screen. To browse the web, open the Xweb app. You may now browse the web with compression. To recharge, lift the protective cover from the DC in-port. Charge the Explorer 510 through the supplied 72 watt hour battery pack utilizing the included DC to DC cable. Plug directly from the V72 battery into the terminal's DC in-port. The 72 watt hour battery pack can be charged from its AC wall charger or the solar panel, which is optional, while it is powering the Explorer 510 or the optimizer. See your enclosed help sheet for connection troubleshooting as well as more detailed connection and usage information. As always, Outfitter Satellite provides 24-7 tech support for all our devices. Contact us at 615-889-8833 and we thank you for your business.